when it comes to food, I'm pretty sure most of you out there love a good steak because I love a very good steak. And uh, oh wait, my camera's shaking about a lot. Okay, you see, he's shaking about so much. All right, I'm pretty sure you guys out there love your steak. Today, I'm gonna go out and see how the worst reviewed steak in my city tastes like. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the worst uh, steakhouse and see how the steak there tastes. And hopefully, hopefully, they don't, you know, serve me some dead steak because I don't want to be part of steak, man. Like, I love my steak. I'm pretty sure you guys love your steak too. And um, I don't want this one experience to ruin steak for the rest of my life. I'm risking my love for steak for you guys here. So if you guys love this series, go down and drop a like now. In this video, I'm going to do it a bit different. Normally, in my worst reviewed videos, I usually start off with the worst reviews. But today, I'm going to not read any reviews. I'm going to go to this place with an open mind and uh, see how this place is. So instead of reading the reviews and going to uh, this place with a negative mindset, I'm gonna eat the food there first, go check it out and then come home and read the reviews. Anyways, if you guys are new, go down and subscribe and go follow me on my Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook and Instagram, Drizzy Jeremy, and go turn on my channel notifications so you can be one of the first to watch my videos. And also, you guys have been killing it with the support lately. And as I always say, I feel like I have the best audience on YouTube. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you again for the genuine support and love. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, man, just keep it coming. Uh, also, today, I've got my Lord time pieces on, as you could see. Let me let me zoom in. Oh. Every time I get something, you know I'm gonna plug you guys. So uh, if you guys want pieces like this, good quality time pieces like this, go check out LordTimePieces.com and use the code Drizzy for 10% off your order. Uh, they've got many watches on there, like this one. Um, this is the Bolt watch in rose gold. I love rose gold man, such a sick colour. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Go check these guys out. I always gotta plug you guys. Whatever stuff I get, you already know I'm gonna set you guys up with a discount code. Let's go to the steakhouse and taste the worst reviewed steak. To add a bit of spice to this video, I'm gonna be taking my brother with me. Alright, okay, we're here, we're at this at the steakhouse and we're about to go in and check it out, but this place looks kind of packed. I think there's there's gonna be a lot of people inside. So I don't know how I'm gonna get my camera and start filming. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm starving. He just woke up from a nap. I recorded it on my Snapchat. I'll show you right now. <laughs> How is he still sleeping? Bro. Wake up, man. Bro, why, why are you always knocking out? I don't know man, it's because of school, we're sleeping, so... Oh, is school stressing you out? No, not really, it's just I'm tired from it. That's but my car ain't no hotel though. Alright, we're gonna go in, uh, order a steak, and see how uh, the worst reviewed steak tastes like. And uh, yeah. Worst reviewed steak? Yeah, apparently they sell like the, one of the worst steaks ever. Right. Do you even like your steaks? Do you even eat steak? Yeah. I've never seen you eat steak. But yeah, yeah, we're gonna go in and I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but yeah, let's do this. You think it looks good? Yeah. Does I don't know, the outside bad? does look alright. How does this look bad? I don't know, the reviews say it's bad. Really? But I don't know. Yo bro, where we at? We're at the steakhouse thing. Tell them about the tell them about the, the menu. The menu's pretty dirty, not gonna lie. For sure. You see that? You see that? Oh yeah, that's disgusting. What is it? Is it dirty? Yeah. How dirty is it? Pretty dirty. It's how how do you find the atmosphere? It's alright. It's not too bad. Are you gonna are you gonna have wine? Hmm? Are you gonna have wine? No. Why not? Can't have that. I need to use my date. Give me a hand. Give me a hand, bro. No. We're on a date. So yeah, we made it into the steak place. The restaurant is not too bad, you know. Like, it actually looks kind of wavy. The restaurant might look good, but the steak might be dead. So yeah, we're gonna order some steaks. And my brother's probably gonna get some wine, because you know, he likes to wine and dine. So, so that's your thing. You take girls out and you wine and dine them. What steak are you gonna get? You have to get steak, that's why we're here. It's a steakhouse. Should we just get a rump? A rump? Yeah. It's kind of expensive here, you know. How much is it? 15 quid for a rump. 
That's what we're getting. I'm not gonna lie, how rude is this guy? We're on a date and he's got his AirPods in, like, look. You get so triggered when I say it's a date. We've been sitting there for like 10 minutes now. Yeah. Yeah, and no one's come over to ask us what we want. That already, that's already it's kind of bad. Good, I'm good, thank you. Just yeah. came to see what you'd like to drink. Okay, yeah, can we, can we just get two cooks? Right. Yeah, of course. And do you want me to pop back for your food? Uh, no, I think we're ready to order now. Okay. Yeah, can we just get uh, two, two rump steaks? Yes, of course. Uh, can I have garlic mayonnaise and yes. granola padano? And your steak sauce, please? Uh, British beef, uh, dripping sauce, please. Okay. And that's everything? Yeah, that's yeah? everything, thanks. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, have you been busy today? Uh, yeah, just taking photos, Record. yeah. Oh, taking photos, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. cool. Nice, what is? I'll get the glasses okay. and I'll get your menus out the way. Sorry, sorry. Oh, no, sorry. That's it. Perfect. Anything else you need? My name's Amy. Okay, thank you very much. Was she friendly? Yeah. Alright. Have you got a crush on her? No. It's weird. I think my brother's got a crush on the waitress. <laughs> you do? Shall I, shall I get a number for you? Oh, no. Come on. No, please don't. <laughs> I think my brother wants the waitress's number. No. But yeah, not gonna lie, uh, the waitress was very nice. Um, she was bear friendly and you know, she made us feel comfortable. So, customer service. A1 and also she made my brother fall in love with her so yeah so uh, my brother is fully loved up now shut up bro. why don't you propose to her bro that's just weird isn't that in her 20s all right yeah 20. she's brought over our drinks asap that was quick it is quick we're boring so we got coke don't we no we're original so we did get coke huh are you waved off coke now are you a bit drunk no, yeah, i think my brother's a bit drunk i think he's gonna Go over and ask the waitress out. I say you got to ask her out, man. Our seat is calm as well. I look. Yeah, bro. Like our table is good. So everything right now is lit. Good. Yeah, lit. It smells alright. What have we got here? It's like some lettuce wedge or something. Lettuce, yeah. Yeah, lettuce. Eat one. Huh? Eat one. How is it? It's alright. Right, this is my one right here. I got lettuce with blue cheese, but I do not like lettuce. I like blue cheese though, so let me taste the cheese. Cheese is alright, but it it tastes like it's been outside for too long. But I'm not gonna complain because the cheese is alright. But yeah, there's no way I'm eating the lettuce. I do not like lettuce. My steak is here. <coughs> How's your steak? Like, it doesn't look too bad. It actually looks decent. Let me taste test it. Let me get one. <laughs> they chew it properly, yeah? You don't want to choke. <laughs> this is how it looks inside. Steak does not taste too bad, but I've had better steak before. Is it me or is it a bit too red inside? I'm gonna eat this big red bit of uh, steak. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at the way he's holding his fork. How's your taste? Do you like it? Alright. Alright, let me try the chips now. It's how it looks. Let me grab like three, dip it in the sauce. I actually like the chips. Mmm, the chips are banging. The chips are actually banging. Right, the question is, 
What is this? Look. I don't know what this is. Okay, that just ruined the whole food. I don't know, I don't have a taste of that. I think it's good. I swear down he likes the taste of everything. He literally will finesse anything and everything. Yeah, this sauce here is banging. I actually like the sauce. Huh? Ask the waitress how to make it. Just ask for a number. So what's your final critique on the food? The steak is very red. Yeah. But it's not too bad. This onion thing is good and I like the chips. So you're loving the experience? It's actually not too bad, even though it's the worst review you want. Yeah. I agree with that. I agree with his critiques. 36 pounds for the whole meal. What do you think that's, of that? That's kind of a rip-off, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> kind of a rip-off. No, but honestly, food was actually nice. I liked it. Yeah, it was not too bad. I mean, yeah. I didn't like the steak, but I liked the onion thing and the chips. The chips were nice. Okay, I really think my brother should have asked out the waitress, and I really do think he caught feelings for her. But yeah, anyways, I'm back at home and now I'm gonna read the reviews of the place that I just went to. And also, if you wanna spice any of your outfits out, remember to go check out lordtimepiece.com. Go check these guys out, man. I'll leave a link in the description below. And remember to use my code Drizzy for 10% off. So go make the most of it. Go on the website, pick up what you like and copy it. Yeah, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's go read the reviews. Just awful. The worst cut of meat I've ever seen. Cooked poorly, the service was extremely slow, with constant repetition needing to get anything. Sadly, this is not a one-off. Okay, my experience was not that bad. Like, my meat was alright. It was a bit red, but it was alright. And the service was actually alright, because the waitress made my brother fall in love with her. So, found a piece of hair in my potato. I notified the waiter, and he advised just eat around it. You eat around it! Imagine getting hair in your food, yeah, someone says, eat around it. I'll make you eat around it or shove it in your mouth! Not even a courtesy replacement dish. Didn't eat our steak and left. Waste of money. Also noticed many people in sweatpants. What kind of steakhouse is this? Terrible, stay away. By the way, don't cuss people in sweatpants because I'm out everywhere in my sweatpants. And if you got a problem, you leave the restaurant. I'm not gonna leave the restaurant because I'm wearing some sweatpants. So shut the hell up. Steak was undercooked and really fatty. I'm not gonna lie, the steak had bare fat in it, like around the sides, but uh, that's what you get with steaks. Also, last but not least, I had a spider in my drink. Hold on a minute. How the hell do you get a spider in your drink? Like, do you just watch it fall in or something? That's the first time I've heard something like that. The manager said it's not one of theirs. Okay, hold on, hold on. How do you know if the spider is not one of yours? What, do you have a spider collection or something? What, are you the next Spider-Man or something now? Collecting spiders in a restaurant? I was disgusted by not only the spider, but the way the manager was arguing with me over it. Listen, if a manager came up to me and said, listen, that's not my spider, I'll make it your spider. Don't be telling that spider is not mine. That spider is yours if it's come from your restaurant. Lot of money for a small portion. Food not great. Food cold, did not have a lot of things on the menu. Tables dirty, service slow, other tables unclear for the whole hour we were there. Food mediocre. Racists. Okay, I don't know how they treated this guy, but apparently they're racist now. I think I'm gonna end it there. If I read the reviews, I went to the place here, yeah, I would have gone in with such a negative mindset. But now that I'm reading it after eating the food, I feel like the place actually is all right and it shouldn't be labelled the worst steakhouse. Anyways, that was the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.